The opening track has these semi-distorted, kind of grungy electronics as the core production element. They then heighten with a blasting residue during the refrain. Vocally, I did like the distinction between the congruent verses and the shouting segue into said refrain. The track has a semi-operatic outro with these haunting vocalizations that only get louder until the track ends. It's a very interesting and cool way to open off the record. I like the percussion based instrumental that's like laced with these breaths in between hits like <sighs> The subdued vocals have this spectral radiance about them as the lyrics sound like they are talking about priming a potential victim for a dark place, kind of speaking from the perspective of a ghost or a wraith. I do wish it was a little longer and there was more of uh, more depth in the atmosphere to really suck me into the theme of the song, but I still thought it was very enjoyable. Shifting up the sound palette is Your Worst Nightmare, which has these hard rock guitar riffs with some modern hip-hop production elements. But I really wasn't feeling this one. The production sounds very bottled up. Maybe the way it was mixed has something to do with it, and the fronting vocals are very toothless, in my opinion, for a song like this. If they were more aggressive or, or more relentless, it would have given the track a much needed edge, in my opinion. Um, it's alright. It's not terrible. Following up your worst nightmare is Bones, which goes in the musical direction of house music. You have these buzzing electronic radiance, this very simplistic groove, bumping percussion, and a very nocturnal neonish vibe to boot as well. All these elements really co coalesce into something pretty, pretty great, in my opinion, this early into the album, while also kind of continuing this weird horror motif the album has going on, so one of my favorites on the album. Be Mine is a very sweet song with uh, with a childlike poetic instrumental with these cutesy lead piano and a very starry atmosphere. The longing vocals are very sincere and oddly infectious, especially with the chorus. Will you be mine? You're on my mind. Do you have time? There's a very unique tenderness to the song that I absolutely adore. This is like a futuristic disco track with some neon streaks and a very glitzy groove. The cogent vocals are sparsely used but very effectively placed. Yeah, not too much to say about this one, but uh, it's, uh, it's groovy as hell. This track continues the dance motif we saw in the previous song, but to a lesser degree in my opinion. It takes on a very hyper-pop aesthetic, but mm, it's very paper-thin in its results. The vocals sound like they cannot keep up with the sound of the bubbly production, and the main melody starts to like strain itself with each repetition. Um, it's not bad, I just don't think it was very fine-tuned or refined. Accompanying Bones is another house track, but with a much, uh, much thicker EDM influence. This one is more chunky with the big bass hits and the strobe main electronics. It is only like two minutes, so the kind of basic groove of the track doesn't overstay its welcome. And there's a lot of interesting sound play, like collisions and reflections in the in the musical background. I found it to be very enjoyable. Cooling off of the compactness of the previous track is Because the Real Life is Boring, which is a much more chill song in comparison. The cooling atmosphere and the calming sax passages and instrumental leads carry a bulk of the track. It does feel a bit hollow in its composition and arrangement, but uh, I came to really enjoy the serenic vibe of the track. It makes me feel like an anime girl who was perpetually studying for a test. Closing off the record is I'll Be Okay. This is a very affirming, very upbeat track with uh, with these rosy, cheeky piano leads. And the sonic direction is reminiscent of something I would hear from Owl City. I love the charming vocals on here, carrying this sense of hope for the future. And the melody is very sticky. Just uh, It's a very great way to end off the record. Overall, I thought this was a very enjoyable collection of tracks, which had some very interesting highlights. It is inconsistent, coming mostly from the vocal performances, sometimes not being able to accentuate certain sounds. And the brevity of the record can lead to some feeling of underdevelopment for some of the tracks, primarily on, on the hard rock song and on the kind of hyper pop song that was attempted. But with all that said, I can't deny that I did have a good bit of fun listening to the record. There are some very distinct takes on pop and house that I really enjoyed. Most of the songs, in my opinion, were pretty good. They all shine in their own light. Overall, it's a very satisfactory package for me. I give it a...